guys, let's get up and knock this gym out. Early morning flow. Day number six, ketones. I shouldn't have flipped it over like that. Let me do another one. Let's wait a couple seconds. All right, y'all. So, let's get the one that, where they both, let me see, hold on, they both are on the dark side, could y'all see, yeah, alright y'all, those are my ketosis results this morning, at the gym before 4am, about to go in and get it in, we're doing abs today guys, abs, 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 Less than four minutes, a mile. Look at, almost there, y'all. Before 12 minutes, three miles. You see? All right, y'all, let me get off. <sighs> my mom washing off my machine. Thank you, mom. You're welcome. <laughs> We don't have abs this morning, so we're gonna start with this ab machine. I think this is the only ab machine in here, so we're gonna start. Good morning. We're gonna start with this one. All right, y'all. down for like five ten minutes whatever she say I'm gonna do I always say five minutes she's like let's do 15 all right let's do 15 all right y'all I often didn't realize it hit six so that is it guys and I might as well show you my burn now this is my burn, okay? Let me pause it so you can see what the duration is. Hold on. 53, 56 minutes I burned. Oh, excuse me. I got the burps. 428. Yes, I'm going to keep it going. So I wanted to show y'all that. All right, guys. All right. 
Hopefully we can get a massage. We're gonna try to see if we can get one today. <laughs> Look at how the calories keep burning when you do strength training. That's the burn since I left the gym from 428. All right, y'all, let me get in the shower. Um, so guys, I got my package of tongue scrapers from Amazon. And I'm gonna open these real quickly and see what they look like. Let me get my scissors. Hold on one second. It came in this flat packaging, nothing special. Just showing you this side because my address is on the other side. And I'm editing the video to put up. It is 7 a.m. Um, so let me cut this open and see what these things look like. So my order for my stainless steel metal one so one of us I have that and then three of us I have this um as a tongue scraper and these were 488 which was not bad at all because this one scrapes the full tongue unlike the one at Dollar Tree it's like you just scrape little sections it's like a handle like a toothbrush hold on has a regular side and a side that says soft and it's flexible. I like it because it's something easy to travel with. You can put in your purse, your wallet, or whatever to keep it in. So, guys, I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know how I like it. I'll probably use it later on today and um, let you guys know how it scrapes and feels on my tongue. I was kind of leery of the little bumps, but we shall see. And like I said, it was 488 from Amazon. If I forget to put the link below, please remind me and I will do so. All right. And it was free shipping. I have Amazon Prime, so it was free shipping. And it only came in like two days. All right, guys. Hey, guys. I am getting ready to head out. Um, I just wanted to come on here because I had some thoughts. I've been having gas like crazy. So I'm just going to keep letting you know until it subsides or stops. So I wanted to talk to y'all about the fact that I had commented on somebody's um, com I mean, somebody's um, comment, replied to somebody's comment, and I didn't realize, but I just spoke exactly what I was feeling. And what I'm feeling is this journey is awesome. I know that I'm doing good. I'm not even going to not pat myself on the back. I know that I'm doing good, but when I look at my body and how much further I have to go, it seems like for freaking ever it seems like a big task it still feels and seems like a big task even though um the average amount of weight normally highest amount is average is about two pounds a week i don't know I, i'm hard on myself sometimes and it's like okay you need to go harder you need to go harder and um i went hard in the gym today and I, I, I commend myself for that. My mom was like, girl, you be going. I said, yes, this is what I did before. I didn't water fast, but I got this weight off, the same amount of weight off. Well, actually, I'm lying. Um, I got to like 300 pounds, and I got down to 230, and I was fine, which is, y'all should have seen that in the end of like two days ago vlog, where I showed you my what 230 looks like on me, and why I was excited to say that that was um, one of my goals, um, not one of my goals, my first um major goal was halfway point which is 46 pounds and i'm eight pounds away from that and then the next one was to hit 240 um just to see what that looks like or whatever so um at 240 is when i wanted to uh bless myself reward myself with some new sneakers but i don't even think i'm gonna do that i'm, I'm gonna ride them sneakers out for a minute i don't want to do that because my feet shrink so much like my feet have shrunk so much it doesn't make any sense um and with that being said um I want anybody who's going through this journey, even though this water fasting is a great thing and the weight is coming off, regardless of whatever, we still have to realize it takes, it's a day by day thing. It is us channeling that willpower like crazy. Like this is the ultimate level of willpower. I had the guy at the gym, he's a new guy, a uh, um, black guy. He was like, 
how do you do it? Like, he was like, you're here every morning at, like, before 4 in the morning. Most women don't want to get up and be here that early. How do you do it? And we were just talking. And I was like, you know what? I, it, it, for the for me, the gym is my peace and, and my getaway to just, you know, think and, and, and meditate on things that I need to do and things that I'm going to do. And um, so after I got over the hump of just starting, see, the hardest part about anything is starting 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 the hardest part is starting because once you go over day one then day two it's like oh i can do this if i don't do it it's because i choose not to do it you get what i'm saying and if there has been thousands and thousands of people that are doing this and have done this and been successful with it you can do it and i'm like um oh my gosh am i am i, am I sacrificing all this i'm giving y'all my thoughts am i sacrificing all this and and it'll just come back as soon as i put some food in my mouth but then i'm like girl fat don't come back that fast you know what i'm saying just like we put the weight on it took some time to put it on it's the same thing so i want to inspire someone because I'm, I'm inspiring myself to keep pushing but i'm encouraging myself at the same time but encouraging somebody else out there it doesn't come on fast with the water fasting, it, that's an extreme level of, of weight loss and mental healing, clarity, and all that. It's a whole nother level of just not losing weight. I'm just trying to get my, my thoughts back in process, my anxiety, all that stuff that's bothered me. I want that to go away, and this is my way of doing it. And like I told the guy, I said, listen, I feel like if I go to the extreme of not eating a thing, why is it that I can't enjoy what I love and learn to eat in moderation? And exercise at least two to three days a week some nice good workouts and continue to drink water once I hit below a certain amount that way I got wiggle room to live my life you get what I'm saying so that's that's my goal my goal is to go b below 230 230 I was comfortable I felt really great um, but I want to go below 230 because I feel like I, I'll have wiggle room to, to get it right so my goal was like ultimate 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 goal was 200 pounds um, but we shall see it's a journey and what may have looked good then may not look good or be appealing to me or I may want to go further I might say you know what I'm good right here I don't know at this day as we stand and I talk to you it will be um I will be down another um from well from day five I was 255 so literally I'm 55 pounds guys 55 pounds away from 200 to know that I was just 300 pounds basically just 300 pounds I have to keep that in my brain, girl. You're doing good. Just, just, just stay, just stay focused, um, cause it's not easy. It's not easy. Meaning, when I say it's not easy, it's not the journey and not the fasting, but it's not easy to mentally keep yourself and your willpower strong when you're trying to um, lose weight and you're still seeing the fruits of your labor from before. You know what I'm saying? Which is eating too much and overeating and not being active. Um, and you're like, God. This belly is still here. I know it's shrinking, but this belly is still here. These arms are still here. I know they're shrinking, but they're still here. So it kind of makes you feel a little tad bit defeated. Don't be defeated, guys. Every day, something is happening. We may not see it, but one day it's going to be like an ah moment. And I've had a couple ah moments already, but it's going to be like, whoa, okay, you girl, you did that girl. You did that man. You did it. So just keep pushing, y'all. I don't want this video to be too long, but this will for you be day six and you will see the results at the end of this video if anything changes i will let you know i'm planning on, i think i might go out and do a little bit of uber not sure but we shall see all right talk to y'all later it is um tuesday night and usually i'll be getting up early 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 wednesday morning to work out for um my vlog that will be loaded on thursday yeah so tonight is Tuesday and I felt nauseous and felt kind of weird. So I've been guzzling, not guzzling, but drinking a lot more water. Meaning like I usually sip, sip, sip all day. But when I feel like I feel weird, I just, you know, take some nice big sips at a time. Um, so Thursday will more than likely not be any, um, there won't be any gym 
on Thursday because I have to listen to my body. And like I said, I, I'm learning my body and I'm doing what's best for me through this process. Um, and I guess I can also see, which I already did because through, through the um, weekend I didn't work out and I still was losing weight. So I know I'm going to still lose weight. But the problem is um, with me is because I'm losing the weight and it's at a, you know, a rapid pace, which is not, you know, the average weight loss or what normal weight loss is. Um, I don't want my weight loss to be flabby or to um, just be, you know, doesn't doesn't look right, you know. So that's why I go hard in the gym to tone and get my body, um, you know, my muscles to start trying to do what they need to do underneath the weight loss. So, yeah. But guys, yeah, it is like 11 something at night. I am going to wipe these eyebrows up. I was so tired. Um, I literally got in the bed and yeah, didn't even get in the shower yet. That's how nauseous I felt. I had to lay down. So, um, once I feel a little better, I'm going to wipe these eyebrows off, wash my face. I got to wash my sheets in the morning anyways, cause it's Wednesday. So that's perfect. I'm like, okay, I don't feel so bad. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I want to let you guys know that. So if you don't see this, but you shall see the, um, results of this day, um, in the end of this um, video. So yeah, Thursday you will not see any exercise. All right. All right, y'all. So guys, now we have day six results. Let's see what we have. Day six, 253.8. And we're gonna try to step on it again so we can see that number again to make sure it is accurate. And then we are going to go from there. 253.8. All right, guys, let's go chart it. All right, my revivers. So that shows 1.8, which is two pounds. And we are going to go boom and boom. Yeah, 40 pounds down, 40 pounds down. And it is, what is it? 5, 20, 2, 19, and that is 253.8. Six pounds away from the halfway mark, which is half of 92 pounds. All right, guys, let's keep pushing. For some reason, guys, um, it's not allowing me to comment to certain um, ones of y'all on my community tabs, like that video of my belly transformation. For some reason, Leah tried to comment under yours, and um, it's another young lady. Dang, I hate that I can't remember your name. I tried to comment under yours as well. Um, I'm going to try again. If not, I'm going to get on my computer and, and comment because, yeah, I don't know why I kept seeing error problem loading comments. So I tried to um, respond to you about the ladies cruise. So, yeah, I'll try to do it on my computer and see if it goes through. All right, guys, let's keep pushing. And I will be um, opening up my Facebook group, Body Right Divas. So if you are watching this video and you are interested, is Body Right Divas on Facebook. And um, if you just comment your email under this video, I will um, add you to the group by your email. Or if you want to email me your email, because you don't want to just put it out there, it's CPR for the body at gmail.com. Um, you can do that as well. Or on Instagram, you can inbox me at CPR for the body. Um, inbox me your email, however you want to get it to me, um, whatever is best for you. I can add you to the group because I'm getting ready to open my Body Right Diva group back up. That's been, oh my gosh, I created that group, I think, in 2011, 2012. Um, and since um, I'm back at it full-fledged, I want to start sharing more intimate things in the group. And we can have more combos and I can go live more in the group and help support people who are deciding to do water fasting. So I will talk to you guys later, Gators. Let's keep pushing. Mind over matter. Let's channel that willpower.